I was wondering, who's the king? B&Q? Wix? Everest? Yes, I'm the Door King Wanderer. Welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone. It has been chucking it down pretty much all week, apart from Wednesday when it's fairly dry, but for the last two days it has been incessant. Not raining this precise moment in time, but it was earlier. Everywhere is soaked, so if you're watching this in June, um, then this is why, again, I've had to come to 3G, because um, all the glass pitches, almost without exception, have been rained off today. So. I'm here at Dorking Wanderers, uh, the Meadowbank Stadium, and that's the main stand that I've just walked past, and we'll spin, and I will finish it up there, and then there's another standing area ahead of me. It's actually Dorking Wanderer Reserves who are playing today, um, and they are at home to Deportivo Galicia in a Combined Counties Division 1 match. Um, I've been here before, um, I may have mentioned it, I don't know, but in previous videos I used to be the PA announcer and do local radio for Hartford Town. I really must go back there and do a video actually. And I came here um, when I was with Hartford Town when they, um, I think it was a league map, which right at the end of the season and the left back for Hartford had a very serious injury. Ambulance had to come on the pitch um, and taken away. He was out for a good period after that. That's when I came here. It was way before the time and it was 3G and my goodness it's improved since then. It wasn't bad at the time. Um, and that's looking back at the big stand that we just walked past. Um, and I can know if you can see the rolling hills in the background. It really is a very pleasant spot. Um, lots of neat fencing ahead of us to the side of me. Uh, new subscriber to shout out to this week is Reese C7 and I love this Reese's to pieces thanks for subscribing Reese and I hope you enjoy the channel dugouts we'll have a look at them but there they are over there attractive houses around the area I came to Dorking not the main Dorking station it's Dorking is it deep something um, after another ridiculous journey but I'm just not going to bore you with it today and it's about a 15 minute walk from there and as in all my videos if you ever want to know how to get to my location by public transport just leave me a comment and I'll let you know or send me a direct message on Twitter at YT40 and I will let you know um, this is a really it's USP if you like is that really attractive church up there and um, behind the main stand that's going to be my thumbnail something like that when i take it so very neat and tidy here had a very warm welcome guy on the um turnstile really pleasant it's actually surprisingly warm for it's the shortest day today december the 21st shortest day of the year my god it's been a long time coming and it's ridiculously mild for and this is why it's just hammers down with rain all the time this is looking back at where we've just been so fence trees angry clouds above and there's a scoreboard as you can see up there dorking wanderers course in conference south now they really have risen well and here's the dugouts it's one of them here so just your standard bench, but very neat and tidy with some advertising on the back of them. So, you know, it's going to be a money spinner, even 3G always are. Um, why would you not have one? With all this horrific weather, I know it costs to get it down, but you're going to get the money come back in. You can hire it out every day and it's not going to damage the surface. And then on days like this, you can play. There's a mountain, nice view. As for changing facilities, where well, I'm just scanning to in there and the um, clubhouse. So, walking up the far end, it's set in a, um, in a recreation ground, Meadowbank Recreation Ground. And there's a little river that runs along the side of it and there. And the water in the river 
was an absolute torrent when I just came in. I cannot tell you how fast it was flowing. Really, it is extraordinary conditions. So loads of room, if you can see, up this um, near end as it is from where you came in. Really loads of room. So if Dorking continue to climb, um, there's definitely room if they get planning permission for a stand at this near end. And that's looking back at where we just been and there's another covered area as you can see I'm sure you'd already spotted ahead of me and the um, sorry FA I seem to be going to a lot of county grounds in recent time with um, the Middlesex one a few weeks ago and the Hampshire one when I went to Hamworthy and now here we are at Dorking so ahead of me is the tunnel the pull out tunnel you might be able to see the Dorking Wanderers badge on the bits that are tied up and as you can see home changing and away changing toilet area there's, there's more rolling hills behind those houses there you might just be able to make that out um, lounge and bar upstairs toilet area and then the healthy kitchen don't know whether that's going to be open today but i just had um, an excellent portion of chips from a shop in Dorking High Street and we're just going to climb up here and this is the main stand that I'm going into now and almost certainly I will sit up here somewhere today and stay tuned for clips of the match and some stills at the end today and I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video then click on like. If you've hated every minute of it click on dislike and then why not subscribe. And um, if you subscribe all future videos that I do will go to your YouTube channel. And if you click on the little bell after you've subscribed you will wake up in the morning and there will be delightful rolling hills behind your garden. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. This is Dorking Wanderers Football Club. Strike some. Oh, <laughs> 
Full time and I'm on the London Road, nowhere near London and the final score was Dorking Wanderers um, 6, Deportivo Galicia 2 and the game as a spectacle was spoiled somewhat when the goalkeeper for Deportivo was sent off just before half time, it was really a one way contest after that um, but loads of goals to enjoy and a perfect place to go on a really miserable week weather wise so thank you to Dorking for that um, anyway thank you for watching speak to you soon and this was Dorking Football Club